All right. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. It is super hot outside, but we're gonna do a, another modification. One that I've seen a couple of times in other S550s that I've been in. And I've always been a little bit jealous, a little bit envious of how it looked. Today's video, we can finally bring that home to our Mustang. I've been waiting on this for a long time and I'm glad to have you here with me to enjoy the journey. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna, I, I hope that it looks as good as I hope it does. It's gonna drastically change the way things, stop it. <laughs> the way things look on the inside. Boing. It smells good. A little comedy, it's okay. It's okay to laugh every once in a while. I'll make myself look like a silly idiot in front of thousands of people. It's, it's fine, that's why we make YouTube videos. But yep, um, still looking good as always, especially with the backdrop. I mean, you can't really beat it, but uh, we went back to a factory OEM. Performance pack spoiler. A friend of mine hooked me up with this. Uh, shout out to you, Brandon, when you see this. I know you guys have been waiting on like racing content, and that's actually what this last weekend was all about. That's why we haven't uploaded in about a week. Unfortunately, we got rained out. It was an interesting weekend. I saw a guy get tased uh, by the police officers. He was just, uh, hey, you listen. Obey the law, and nothing bad will happen to you. Enough said. Okay, time to go modding. Something else that happened this weekend, too, is um, I got this stupid thing in the way. It smells good. Now, we had a bit of trouble with the, uh, the car. It was pulling like crazy amounts of fuel. It was doing like weird things, uh, choppy with with the idle. So much so that it would like rattle the the, the chains inside, you know, behind the timing cover. So it was it was really scary. But again, Canon HDR was able to fix it. Um, what was actually happening was the we were having trouble with the purge valve, the EVAP purge valve. So we got it fixed, and hey, the car is brand new, good to go. I think it was actually failing for a little while. So now the car is driving like better than ever. I mean, it's 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 awesome. I a big shout out to you, Ken, for having the knowledge of how to fix such a simple thing. I mean, the EVAP purge valve is like 30 bucks. So we got it fixed. All is good to go. But yeah, we're almost home. And we're gonna put this thing in the garage, start ripping some interior bits apart. I'm excited, but I think that you're gonna like it. I know I am. I've been waiting for this for a long time, man. We're gonna cover a couple of things taking apart the center console. Hopefully this will help you out, but it's really honestly easy. It only takes a couple of seconds. You can use the trim tool if you want to, or just reach your hands down here, right? And then it just literally pulls off. Anyway, so then after that, I think these are sevens, one and two, and then you'll repeat this process on the other side. Yeah, right there on the hood, man, is the new modification. I'm very excited. So we're not gonna show you that yet. Just keep watching. I wanna get through this help out those that don't know how to do this or maybe never have forever there we go hands down here and you just pop free and then we'll move on to the the back side here so you guys see all this right here this cheap stuff is all getting replaced with the good stuff the dash is coming this is all getting replaced maybe in the next uh, couple of videos but um I do have to get this parachute. We have it off of the car, but we have it routed. I need to get this off of the car. So what's next is uh, get all of our camera stuff out. What we need to do next is get that up out of the way. The back, what you do is you can get a trim tool and you can come under this area here and start to lift up. I mean, you're gonna have to do it forcefully, but gently. I know that's opposite, but you understand. Or, you know, if maybe you hear this like mine, it's been out a few times and just lift up and the other side as well. And that's how that comes up, really easy. And then underneath, you can see the wires. So mine has the, uh, the lights and everything. So I'm gonna have two wires that I need to unclip under there and then I can get to it and take this off to get this off though is a little tricky if you want to not break it so we're going to uh we're gonna give it a shot and hopefully we'll have some success but in theory what you're supposed to do is just come underneath and just do the same same deal you can get a trim tool nothing metal don't break please do not break come on come on baby come on baby Yes! So just get it started. Again, trim tool is definitely the way to do it. Mine's been off before, so it's not as tough. But if it's your first time, it's gonna be a little hard. Yeah, I've got this cable kind of like just, it's it's run properly so I can slide it out the back because you know, the car is set up for a shoot. Oh yeah, I forgot to make sure everything's unplugged. Here she comes. Now, 
this is what remains and we're not done with this piece though we gotta take some stuff off of it with some tea i don't know we'll figure it out and i'll let you know It'll be pretty easy but all of this stuff is going to pretty much transfer over to the uh the new one including i think these blue clips so don't lose those but i think they need to come off but anyway now we're going to open up our new package here so i'm very excited about this it's going to look so good Dang, look at this. Guys, check. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Carbon fiber, the real stuff. <sighs> look at that. This is freaking cool. This weighs like nothing at all compared to the other one. So there we go. Performance mod. A little bit of weight reduction here. <laughs> This is so cool, man. It's got clips just like the OEM. No uh, looking for scratches or anything wrong with it. And it looks like we are good to go and it's flawless. Again, you know, I came uh, heavily packaged, so. I've seen these in other cars and I knew that I had to have it. So it's just something I, I don't think that I could have lived life without. This is really neat. So I'm excited to get this in the car, so let's go. Okay, before I dissect the other one, I do want to kind of just get an idea of what it's going to look like if we can this is this is too cool okay i'm not going to snap it down but guys <laughs> that, wow this is going to be freaking oh my gosh dude i'm not going to drill through this one with that parachute mount we're just going to leave it off for probably a while to get this off was uh, easy enough i mean there's six torx bits t20 but the uh chrome trim which sat on there kind of like kind of like that just what i did was i went for this side right here and just took my fingers and very carefully because it didn't want to come up i mean there's nothing screwing it down but when we flip it over we look there's a little bit of like glue residue so just take your time maybe you could heat this up or something like that to get it off if it gives you trouble but uh, i was able to get mine off pretty easy but anyway just something that i did not know i had to figure out how to get this off without breaking it and uh, it's just plastic so just be careful more surprises hoping this will get here on time because this goes right in line with what we're doing and i need something to cut with yep this is going to complement our install all kinds of goodies today man and we have a parking brake uh lever here so the other one let me just show you this is this is nice this is fun all right check this out man looks good there I, I couldn't really find a, a, a lot of information on how to get this off so there's a screw here and then back here and then the brake boot the e-brake boot comes off and then you cut the tab the uh the cable tie that holds this on but you see this little tab right here this slides over that what you have to do is get your finger in here and then kind of forcefully but gently again you know you'll pry this up as you pull this off and then it just slides off so the other one's going to go on hopefully the same there we go clips over this little this little uh, metal clip right here this little edge anyway that's um that's on there nice and secure that's not going to come off at all no interference there so sweet over. Should no, I'm backwards. Got to go inside out. Oh, it's a tight, tight, tight fit. The idea is you want to get it over this little area here because that's where your cable tie is going to wrap around here and then it's going to slide. All right, so now is the moment of truth. Let's see, yeah. Let's see how it fits. Don't want to scratch nothing. All right, and just like that, we are done, guys. Check this out, man this looks freaking awesome this looks so good again this is all getting replaced with like a one piece this is coming more stuff coming i mean it's oh my gosh look at it all right let me get out here and get a better view let's get a better look look at that that looks so killer so look at the edges and everything it's a very oem fit it's really nice look at the edges everything is an oem fit uh everything works you know as it should um definitely highly highly recommend this so let's get the uh let's get a view from the other side it's such a small thing but sitting in the car it, it makes it feel like a million bucks um that's that's kind of the, the intended purpose there's no blemishes everything is shiny i like it i'm like a kid in a candy store everything is an oem fit i will say that some of the tabs down here 
be very careful because if they get misaligned you're gonna have to move them maneuver them a little bit so that they snap down into their homes into this bottom section here again more things coming but uh this is turning into more of a show car feel than like a, a drag race car even though we got built motor and all that other stuff supercharger and everything yeah that's kind of the the intent and purpose behind all this stuff is just to sit inside the car and it feel more expensive uh more lively more rich and you know little things like this they all stack up so i think we're getting there i think we're getting there i'm excited for what's coming in the next couple of videos the replacement pieces that's going to really tie in this interior and make it feel like a million bucks but hopefully you found this video fun informative you've learned something but guys that's the video so again uh, carbon fiber interior. Let me know when you, and let me know in the comments. What do you think about uh, all of this? I mean, some people really don't like carbon. I don't know how you could look at this and like not fall in love with it. I mean, it's spectacular. So I love it. But that's the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye. Everything is OEM fit. There's no gaps. Anywhere. Um, yeah, this is good, man. This is good stuff. Good stuff. I like it. I like that. That looks freaking cool. I can't wait to get the dash and everything else. Oh, that's delicious.